welcome to News to Us, a weekly presentation from Town Square Media that takes a look back at the news, making news in our community. We don't have the budget for hair, makeup, or a green screen. I'm James G. And I'm Angel D. And coming up, we've got wind, hell, and damage. Hi, I'm Lori Crawford. And entertainment news, maybe we'll be catching sexual predators. With our top story, here's me. Thanks, James. Randall County has been dipping into the asset forfeiture money and bought themselves a new toy. It's called the Linco Bearcat Armored Vehicle, and it's made for defense and protection. It will also look pretty darn choice in the next electric light parade. Randall County authorities assert the vehicle is not military grade and is set up as a defensive vehicle and not for offense. It's not known how long it will take to clean sand from the armored vehicle, but the river trip is planned for July. And now let's send it to Tommy the Hacker for a look at your weather. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Thank you, Tommy. According to Allstate Insurance, Randall County ranks high for severe weather damage claims in the state. Randall was number three for the highest frequency of nature-related peril. Fifth for the most wind and hail claims, and 22nd for the most lightning claims. We didn't really need the Allstate professor to tell us these things. Flo and the Gecko have Potter County number one on the list of communities afraid of the wind from Hereford. Now out to Oscar with health news. Thank you, Angel. Oscar here for your health minute. Well, I work in a busy place here. There's multiple people walking in and out. We got meetings every day, all day. Well, someone last week ended up leaving their breakfast here in our meeting room and it wasn't right because it smells. We walked in here this morning and it was an awful smell. So what I have to say is that take courteous to your co-workers. If you have breakfast, throw it away. Don't leave it here over the weekend because this is gross. I'm going to show you what this thing looks like because I have asthma and this stuff can send me to the hospital. And when I say this, I mean that mold. That mold is gross. I don't want to go to the hospital because of my asthma. Please take care of your food and throw it away if you're not going to eat it. If just not, don't buy it. That's, your, that's my health minute. Oscar, out. That's another great health minute there, Oscar. And in entertainment news, just when predators thought it was safe to go back onto the internet and solicit underage girls, it's not. Chris Hansen, famous for the news seg segment To Catch a Predator, which hasn't aired since 2007, has started a Kickstarter campaign to bring the show back. Heck yes! I used to love to watch those predators squirm, especially when Chris walked in. Uh-oh, you're going to jail after you're thoroughly embarrassed on national television. Serves you right. And in more serious news, Taylor Swift's mother was recently diagnosed with cancer. She released the information in hopes that people would go and get checked out. Taylor said that she would like to keep the details of her mother's condition and treatment private. So in other words, leave them alone. If they want to let you know something, they will. Thanks once again for enduring the entire episode of News to Us. Look again next week for another episode. From everyone at Town Square Media, remember, if it's news to you, it's, it's news, news to us. us. It was all like it's better than spam. <laughs> <laughs> ah, meat in a can. Woohoo! Yeah. Hey, that's a delicacy in Korea. I saw that. <laughs> you get it for a gift. Yeah. Spam? Yes. The you give get away. a gift set of Spam. Yeah, Spam That's gift what boxes. I want in my stocking <laughs> is a can of Spam. <laughs> there you go. Next time you have to give out gifts to the guys, <laughs> just give them, give them a can of Spam. Can you go down any further? Of course. Is that enough? A little bit further. Going Very down. Perfect. Going that's down. Perfect. I feel like I'm towering above them. If you can go down a little further, it would be even better. Just sit on the floor. Yeah, can you just I'm going me? down in a chair of glory. Jenny Fleck for news to us. And then, um, <laughs> what about you? I'm Angel D, and coming up, the wind has, is getting a little crazy. Hi, I'm Lori Crawford, and hey, <laughs> and it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry because Amy's just over there going. <laughs> like, like she, I don't know if she remembers that the camera still gets her or whatever. <laughs> What are it's you? applesauce. Oh, okay. You was, don't need a spoon, okay? Uh, okay. I was like, what the heck? Is, is that baby? I've seen baby food and things like that before, so I was like, is she no, eating baby food? 
There's our weather guy. Oh, hey. Hey, it's Tommy the Hatcher. <laughs> That's a totally different visual. You know? <laughs> oh, I was thinking more like hatching eggs, but oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whenever y'all are ready. Ew. <laughs> yeah, I know. See, that's why it was a bad visual. So. Sure.